noted down everyone lcm and hcf okay we are going to discuss lcm and hcf so first we are going to understand lcm i write it down all the six topic we are going to discuss in lcm and hcf okay so first we are going to start understand lcm and then we are going to discuss hcf first we will understand what is multiple what is factor then find the lcm using a different different method then lcm of a fraction then we are going to learn hcf hcf of a fraction and the calculate lcm and hcf for decimal numbers okay we are going to discuss this one by one so i note it down everyone first we are going to understand what is the multiple and factor because in lcm what is the full form of lcm list common multiple lcm this is called as multiple and hcf we have a f that is factor so lcm means list common we are going to understand this and hcf we are call it highest common and this is factor and this is multiple so i am going to understand multiple and factor so what is multiple multiple means as the name suggests multiple multiplying okay so if there is a four so what is the multiple of four 4 8 12 16 20 24 20, like this it may be 100 or it may be 1000 why because all these numbers are divisible by 4 so if it is a divisible by 4 that the number is multiple of so simple meaning is if you know tables of that number the table is actually the multiple of the first value like if you are writing four tables so whatever you are writing after four all these are the multiple of for writing table of 17 it means 17 34 all these are the multiple of 17 similarly what is the multiple of 6 6 18 12 12 24 what is the multiple of 9 9 18 27 27 okay so these are called as the multiple now what is the factor so the factor means the number which is going to divide that number so in the last we discussed about four multiple so four multiple was 4 8 4 8 12 16 these are the multiple but when we are going to find the factor that was actually the dividing the number which are going to divide the four so one is also going to divide four two is also going to divide four and four is also going to divide four so all these three numbers are factors of four similarly if i am going to ask you eight you can tell 1 2 4 and 8 so one is always common one is going to divide any number so one will always a factor of any number and the same number number will be the same so two factor is always known if i am going to ask you what is the factor of 9 you can say 1 and 9 very clear because this first two number is always there the number itself and the one so the same reason you see one here eight here one here four here okay now look at the 36 Here you will also going to see one is there and thirty six is there. Apart from that, thirty six is also divisible with two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. All these number are factor of thirty six. Now first we are going to understand what is LCM. What is LCM? So in M, M is what multiple, and L is list. Yes. It's total, small. And C is for common. Common means present in every number. So list common multiple. So what is the list common multiple? Means the number which is present in every number, every multiple series, and that is list the smallest. Okay. So let's understand. I am going to find the LCM of four six eight. So there is a two method we can discuss here. First method is finding the multiple of all these numbers. So four six and eight. So there is a four multiple. What is the multiple of four? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. What is the multiple of six? Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Now, what is the multiple of eight? Eight, sixteen, twenty-two. So you can you can do forty, forty-eight as well. But we have to stop somewhere. So I am stopping here. Now, try to find the common numbers. Common numbers means. If there is a four here, that four must be here as well and here as well. But you can't find four here. So only the eight is here, eight is here, but there is no eight here. You can find the twelve here and twelve here, but there is no twelve here. Similarly, sixteen is here and sixteen is here, but not here. So all these numbers are not so common. Now twenty is only available here, nothing common. Now twenty-four. Now look at this twenty-four. 
this 24 is available here, here, and here, right? So we can say that 24 is the least common multiple. Why least common multiple? This is the smallest number, which is present in all these numbers, right? Yes. So what is LCM of four? What is LCM of four six eight? 24. 24. Here. Now look at this. If I'm going to find, tell you, find the LCM of only four and six. Can you tell me what is LCM of only four and six? Twelve. Twelve. Very good. Twelve is the number because twelve is present in both the number. I'm only discussing the four six. I'm not concerned with the eight. So in four and six, what is the number? Twelve, which yeah. is present in both the number. Now, if you are going to find the LCM of six and eight, tell me what is the LCM of six and eight? Sir, twenty-four. Because twenty-four is the only number which is common in between this number. And what is the LCM of four and six, four and eight? Only four and eight. Sir, four and eight LCM is eight. Eight, because eight is present in both the numbers, right? Understand? Then solve this L LCM of two numbers. The number is two zero eight and uh, two forty eight. Give me the answer. How you are going to divide it? Sorry, how how you are going to find the LCM of this number? Tell me the LCM. Now look at this. Uh, actually. If you are going to use this method, the method we discussed here, you will get a lot of time. Why? Because this number is so big that if you are going to find the multiple of this number, 208, you will find a lot of time, right? So what we are going to do now, for this kind of number, we will going to, this is 208, then 416, like that, 624, and the number will go on. Similarly, we will have to write down 248, and writing the multiple of all these numbers is time consuming. So that is the reason when the number is so big, you can't go with the can't go with the multiple method. And that is the reason we have a second method that is called as division method. So this is the multiplicand. Here we are going to find the multiplier, and then we find the common numbers. Here we are going to discuss the same question with the different method. Suppose the number is four six eight, and we have to find the LCM of that number. So the second method is what? We are going to write down this number 468 like this, okay? And then we will decide which number is going to divide at least two number. You can't take any other number. You have to be a, a start with a smaller number, one, two, three, four, and check which number is suitable to divide at least. So here I'm writing two, and with this two, you can divide four two times, six three times, and four four times. So this is clear. Now again, we can take two, so two will going to divide one times, three will be not divisible. So writing three as it is, you can see this, and four will going to divide two times, so two. Now, can you take the any, any number here? No. All these numbers are not divisible with any two digit, one, any number. So going to multiply. So two into two, into one, into three, into four. Simple. I write it down here. So two, two, three, two, the six, 12, 24. So LCM is what? 24. Here also is the LCM is what? 24. Then both the method answer is same. It means both the process are correct. Get it? Now, what is the benefit of this method and what is the benefit of this method? Look, if you know the multiple of the number or you can find out the multiple of number very easily, then you can follow this method. Generally, this is possible with the, the number which you already know the tables, like 1 to 20, you already aware with the tables. So you can find the multiple very easily of all these numbers and you can find the LCM later on. But that is not possible with the numbers like 216, 256, 196. So in that case, what we are going to do? We are going to take division method. So we are going to take two is the common. Now 108, we're going to divide 228 and 98. Now again to 54, 64, 49. Now again to 27, 32, 49. Okay, now look at this. If you know the rule of divisibility, which I already told you, if you know the rule of divisibility, you can solve this puzzles very easily. Now we know that we can't find any number which will going to divide 27, 32, and 49. Right? All these numbers are different. We can't divide all these numbers, so I'm going to multiply this. 2, 2, 2, 27, 32, 49. 27, 32, 49, 2, 2. So this is the LCM of the number. Whatever the number you will get, that is the LCM of the number. Yes, sir.
Okay, then find the LCM of this two number. Find the LCM of this two number, everybody. This is the answer, 72 and 42. How we are going to find out? You can find out using both methods, but because there are multiple numbers, I'm going to prefer the division methods. What I, get, what I can do here, 4, 12, 24, and 72. Now, we are going to take common numbers. So two will going to divide each of the numbers. So this is two, this is six, this is 12, and this is 36. Now again, take two. So two will going to divide one, three, six, and 18. Now, again, we can take two. Why? Because this is not divisible. This is also not divisible, but this is divisible, and this is also divisible. Now I'm going to take three. So one, 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 three. Now, we got the number. We can't divide any number now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply. So LCM is LCM equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. But this 1 is always 1. So I'm going to skip that. So 2 to the 4, 2 the 8, 3 the 12, 3 the 72. Right? Yes, Next, you can do from here as well. 9, 9 to the 18, 36, and 36 to the 70. Answer. Similarly, you can do the LCM of 420 as well. And this is very easy. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the third, third topic is LCM of fraction. Do you know fraction? What is the meaning of fraction? Fraction means if the number is written in P by Q form, it means 2 by 3, 7 by 4. All these numbers are what? Fraction. fraction. Yeah. So you can see that this is the number which I have to write down, which you have to find out the LCM, okay? All these numbers. To find the LCM, you will have to do the HCF of this number and LCM of this number. And how we are going to find the HCF? First we're going to learn HCF, then we're going to come to this topic, okay? So I'm going to skip this, we'll come to this topic, and then we're going to discuss. Or should I explain you? Everybody know that it's HCF? So if you know the HCF, then we can discuss this. So look, first we are, what you have to do, whatever that comes in your in a denominator uh, and numerator, you are going to do the opposite uh, operation. Like in your numerator, you are going to find LCM. So LCM of numerator and HCF of denominator. So we are going to find separately. Tell me the LCM of three, five, seven. You can't find any numbers, you just have to multiply. Tell me, five, three, are 15 and 15, seven, ja? 105? Yes or no? Now find yes. the HCF of 246. So how to find the 246 HCF? Write down the smallest value in a division. And 4 is here. And now divide this 2 with 2 times. You will get 4. So this is 10. Now this 2 will going to divide 6 as well. So obviously 3 times it also going to divide. Or it's 2. So what is the HCF? 2. 2. So two. the answer is 105 divided by 2. This is the answer. answer. Find the LCM of this number, everyone. This topic is already discussed, this question. Solve this one. 246. This, this one, this one. Second. Of 6, 18 and 8. Do it, everyone. Now look at this. I'm going to find the HCF of this number. So HCF of 6, 18 or 8, if we are going to find out, we can divide this 6 and 8, 18 very easily, three times. This will become cancel it out. Now this 6 will going to divide 8. So one time, 6. And in... Let's see, yeah, we will write down this number here. So that is different from in division. So 2, 3, just 6. So what is the SCF? 2. So the SCF is 2. That is clear. You are clear with the SCF. Now, LCM we are going to find 5, 25, and 9. So there is a 5, which is common. 1, 5, 9. So 9, 5, just 45. And 45 is 5, 2, 1, 5. So answer is 2, 1, 5 upon 2. This is the correct answer. How you got this one? You made a mistake in multiplication. Tell me the next question. Write it down, this question. This is your homework. You have to find the LCM. Now, this is also the homework. Write it down. 